In 2017, I said this in a video. Well, obviously this doesn't have obstacle avoidance, but I tell you what, in a couple of years, there'll be drones this size that can probably perform just as well as the actual Mavic does. So watch this space. Almost exactly two years after that video, DJI released the Mavic Mini. Hi, I'm Ashwin Droning on, and the Mavic Mini from DJI is an exceptional little compact drone. In fact, it is the market leading micro drone at the moment because not only does it fold, making it pocket sized, flies for 30 minutes, and has a load of smart technology which other drones just simply can't compete with at the moment. In that original video two years ago, I was reviewing a budget drone which I think gave DJI the inspiration for creating what is now the Mavic Mini. Perhaps it's a little bit of luck, but I genuinely sort of thought the industry would move in that direction, and it did. So what might be next? And so this video is to discuss exactly that. Now that we have this tiny little compact drone that flies for 30 minutes, what could we possibly need next? Let's discuss. The industry has been looking for micro drones for many, many years. And in fact, droning on as a channel started after a crowdfund project called Xano failed miserably. It was one of the first and most exciting drone projects for a long time. The smallest size drone with a GPS chip and high resolution video. It was a campaign on one of the crowdfund platforms, but it just went disastrously wrong. And it's only ironic that the Xano project and the bits that were left were bought by Extreme Flyers, who are now running another crowdfund project for a micro drone, which is also flopping and failing its backers miserably. But aside from that, we wanted micro drones back then, now we have them. What do we want next? Now I'm all up for tiny little drones that I can carry out with me on the basis that I might fly it or I might not. Regardless, I'm not noticing that it's there in my bag because it's so small. But I'm often sat there on my phone or on a meal or a night out thinking, wouldn't it be lovely to get an aerial selfie now without having to pull out a drone, unfold it, set it up, launch it, fly it, etc. Still one of my favorite drones today is Dobby. It is truly pocket sized, even smaller than the Mavic Mini when it's folded. And it is very easy and quick to get up and airborne. However, it still means carrying around another gadget. It wasn't long ago when on a night out, you'd be carrying your phone and a camera as well as two separate units. And we didn't think twice about it, but then they started to integrate phones into cameras. They were big and chunky back then. And yes, the scale of a phone has increased again, ironically, but at least the form factor of this means I can take my phone out as well as an ultra high definition camera here that even captures ridiculous slow motion at 300 frames a second. And I do wonder if drones might move that direction. Wouldn't it be great if you're on a night out, you're only carrying your phone with you and you can press a button and the phone will take off and hover and take a photo of you. Now there were some fake concepts that circulated for a while around a phone that had inbuilt motors in a ducted fan style concept, but it was just that, a concept, it wasn't real. But I believe that in the next couple of years, we will see something like that, which will take the camera technology of a phone, but integrate it into something that also takes flight. Now, I think two years might be a bit optimistic for that kind of technology, but that's certainly what I would love to see next, because it means that I don't need to carry the separate drone. I can just carry my phone, which incorporates the drone and the camera, and it's all in one handy unit. Besides that, I've got my Mavic 2 Pro, and I absolutely love that drone, and especially bundled with the smart controller, it just makes it a very easy and quick package to get up and airborne and capture an incredible quality video. In fact, the video recently where I showed Sweden, that footage was not edited. I applied no filters to that, and I had no filters attached to the drone camera either. And yet look at the colors, the sharpness, the contrast, beautiful footage straight out of that SD card. And I do believe that this is why the drone market has slowed down. Consumer demand is decreasing. We generally have the products that we need and that we want to fulfill our droning ambitions. So comment below, what do you want to see next out of the drone industry? We've already got 30 minute flight time and that always was a big concern in the old days that drones only flew for 15 minutes. Well, we have double that now. We've got ultra high resolution cameras. We have tons of sensors. Genuinely, what do we need next? 
Let's watch this video back in two years and reevaluate what has happened since. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this sparks some interesting discussion and do comment below, give the video a thumbs up and click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you very much for watching.